Today we're flying to Ecuador for our first international trip as a family. But this isn't your average travel video. We'll be riding our bikes on volcanoes, on the equator, in the jungle, and so much more. Where are we, Alan? Uh, we made it to Ecuador and I got my first passport stamp. First one of many. Yeah, I'm so happy. Are you excited to be in another country for the first time? Oh yeah, I don't even know what it looks like outside. I think we got them. They're not flying out. Yeah. Are they gonna stay in, boys? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I hope so. We made it to our hotel in Quito. Got three of the bikes built so far. One more to go. What are we riding today, Juan? Today we're riding Casitawa, a thousand meter descent in that mountain right there, the clouds. To the middle of the world. Yeah. Down right to the clouds. equator. Never hey, used to blow that window before. <laughs> Here you go. Steep stairs, huh? This is an old fire lookout tower. Today's ride, we're heading out there, all the way along there, and then down back to town. High above the city. Casitagua is an 11,500 foot tall stratovolcano high above Quito. The shuttle to the top was only the beginning of getting Megan in slightly over her head as the trail had some surprises in store for us. So in Utah, the cactuses are easy to see, right, Owen? Uh-huh. They're really hidden here. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Those are vicious. You can be just like randomly riding, hit your hand on the cactus, get like 50 clothes in your hand, bummer. Yeah, that would really hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's not do that. Yeah. When I passed him, I didn't even see him. I didn't either. Camouflage. Should we go do this hike a bike? It's uh, looking pretty brutal. Okay, let's do it. Good attitude. Taking the adventurous route. <laughs> there is another way. Yeah. The adventurous route is the best route. <laughs> All right, boys, so this trail is full of ruts and stuff like that. So see right there, the trail can just disappear into the jungle. So you have to be super chill. You too, Megan. <laughs> Megan okay. was looking to get wild today, so <laughs> yeah. keep it reeled in, all right? Got it. <laughs> These steep ruts are hard to ride. It's the end of the wet season and the trail's a little bit overgrown. Well, that's a big cactus on the right. Cactus on the right. These flowers are so nice. What are you doing, Owen? Don't butt me because I'm gonna eat the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to stay hydrated. Yeah. You can see everything, then you can't. Then you can see everything, then you can't. It's crazy. Yeah. The clouds move so fast. Yeah, you get all the weather here. We are in the rain. In the clouds. Normally the view's right here are insane because we're on this ridge line so you can see both ways as we ride down to the equator. Dad, I can love, I'm 
have my glasses, I can't see at all. <laughs> I can't see at all either, Owen. Nice riding, Megan. Thanks. Those ruts are scary, aren't they? They are. It's, this is fun though. You're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Megan, the trail kind of got eroded away. Yeah. The hazards of uh, South American riding, but. Oh, yeah. The kids are having a blast. They, they are loving this. Hey, mom, is this fun? Oh yeah. These have gone past the fun style ruts and uh, these are just the, you know, unrideable style. Yeah. You're doing okay. awesome. We'll get you down soon. All right. The rain's not helping either though. <laughs> How was that, Owen? It's a bummer that it's already over. <laughs> well, the good thing is, is that was the first day of riding of the trip. It's not over yet either. All right. Gotta watch out for the trucks and the rocks in the road. We have a little bit of a single track sidewalk here. So this big statue up here is actually the center of the earth. So we are on the equator right now. On the equator, there's a really cool museum we went to after the ride where we learned all about the indigenous people of this region, saw a real shrunken head, and finally answered the age old question. Does water really spin the opposite direction in the Southern hemisphere? So right here on the equator, when we pull the plug, the water should go straight down because we're on the equator. So no spinning right there. So we're in the Southern Hemisphere now, and I don't really think the water spins different on both sides. I think that's an urban legend, but we're gonna find out. So we'll pull the plug right here. You see how it's spinning clockwise? So that's just like 10 feet from the center line. So that was clockwise in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> so now we're in the Northern Hemisphere. Let's see if the water spins the other direction. A little bit, but right there is starting to spin. It's going the other way. So maybe it was a little hard to see on the camera, but the water was spinning the other direction here. So it really is true. And it's actually called the Coriolis effect. And that's due to the rotation of the earth. Okay. Pretty cool. So we drove just up the hill from Quito, and that's Quito right behind us. And now we're on the Teleferico, which is what we call a gondola back home. There's some really fun trails that come off of here. Some of them are pretty nasty and steep and rutted, and some of them are a little more chill, but they're all pretty aggressive. So Megan's just hiking today, and the boys can just rip at the speed they want to. I am so excited for today. I love this kind of stuff. How is it climbing is it at 13,000 feet? It's so hard. You gotta sit down. Yeah. The good thing is we don't have to climb anymore. And check this yeah. out. Mega swing over the cliffs. There's no oxygen at 13,000 feet, is there? Not really. Dad's back to his good old days. <laughs> that looks like a little pin. Guys, go straight down, I hear you. <laughs> Owen, do you like llamas? Yeah, I love them. You want to meet a llama? Yeah, I want to meet a It's like a real life stuffed animal, isn't it? Yeah. I think Owen wants to get some llamas for the backyard so they can live with the chickens and eat the vegetation off the dirt chowns, keep the weeds down. Yeah, it'd be so nice. We're probably not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> this one is 15 days old. It's crazy. On a scale of one to 10, how cute is that? Uh, 21. Yeah. <laughs> You're so soft and it has that little hat. We're done checking out the llamas and the swings at the top of the lift. Now it's time to shred down the trail. We got Juan and Alejandro with us. What's up with this trail? Starting the Teleferico trail right here from 4,000 meters, we're going to 3,000 meters, 1,000 meters descent. Yeah, this is far and the dirt right now looks perfect. So let's hope everything keeps that way up to the bottom. <laughs> Con suerte. Con suerte. Suerte o muerte. Sí. <laughs> Oh, we got some ruts. Oh, 
look at the view. This is crazy. It's getting a little steeper. Stay above the rut, yeah. And then you gotta drop in at a certain point or cross over. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get a little muddy. I think Megan made the right call not jumping in on this ride. <laughs> you guys are doing good. This is not easy riding. And of course, now we got some rain to go along with it. That is a massive hole. <laughs> Don't want to go down there. Oh, this is sick. This is freaking sketchy, dude. <laughs> is this the craziest thing you've ever ridden? Yeah. It's actually like just this. I'm gonna go my own speed. Again. Yeah, just go your own speed and keep it safe. Nice, Owen. All those years on the push bike paid off, didn't they? Yeah. Whoa, this rut's crazy. <laughs> that was cool. So they said there's a really slick corner coming up. Maybe slow down a little bit, Owen. Are you okay? Yep. Too wow. Much front brake. Too much front brake. Are you okay? Yeah, that was actually a slow one. That was a slow crash, Owen. Oh, you scared me, buddy. Yeah, it's too far in the front brake, and then I just went. How was that, Owen? Fun. <laughs> it was fun now that you're all good? Yeah. Got a little dirt on your visor. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell it's uh, it's gone from perfect dirt to just a little bit too wet. So it's a little muddy and slick and um, you boys still having fun though? Yeah, yeah, so much fun. I've never ridden a trail this hard and never had conditions like this. So it's actually pretty fun. Well, there's our trail. Milo, what'd that cow just do to our trail? Uh, pooped right, <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's steamy too. <laughs> you have a flat tire. Milo, do you see what you've done? That is disgusting. <laughs> oh. Oh. You got it on your shoes too. I got one shoe. Oh, that, that's just. Nasty. Oh. Look, there's the gondola tower. We're almost to the bottom, Owen. Good riding, buddy. You're tired, huh? Made it back to the truck safe. Yeah. Nice work, boys. You said that was nice like- Nice work, Owen. Thank you. Thank you. That was the hardest thing Owen's ever ridden by a long shot. And- A long shot. And yeah. He means far. <laughs> yeah, part of it was like, uh, it was all the training on the push bike that got you down the mountain, isn't it? Yeah because he could ride down those ruts and just put his feet on the sides and uh, just walk his way down it and you crushed it. And you got out of the crash safe and everything. Yeah. After riding, we needed a chill. So we headed into Quito to explore this amazing city. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its incredibly well-preserved history. This is the White House of Ecuador. It's crazy. It's over 400 years old, Owen. It's like imagine chipping the rock and having it like not leave the marks. I know, no electricity, no anything. It's crazy. <laughs> Now we're dropping into the crater of Pulalawa Volcano. It was formed with a massive eruption about 2,500 years ago, and it's the only volcano in the world with people living and farming inside the crater. We'll be riding an ancient trail around the cinder cone dropping deep into the jungle. Bienvenidos a la Casa de Alejandro. 
This is a really special place and it was inhabited by the Yumbo, which is the people before the Spanish came here. This trail that we're gonna ride was walked on by the Yumbo people a thousand years ago. And so now as we get into it, you'll see how deep it is. It's just been eroded and walked on for so many years. Yo quiero montar mi bicicleta. Si. Sí. Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> Oh, and check out how big these agave plants are. Those are like swords. So we're rolling into the trail now. We're in the jungle now, boys. This is like a bobsled run. This is sick. That was crazy. How was that, Owen? Freaking crazy. It's like in a movie, isn't it? Yeah, it's like five feet deep and then it's just like. And then the craziest part is that it's that deep because of people walking for thousands of years. It's crazy. That just blows my mind. Have, is that like one of the coolest things you've ever ridden? Yeah. Same. For sure. And we're just getting started on this trail. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Nice save. Yeah. Oh, and the cannonball. That is so fun. That's like the funnest trail maybe I've ever ridden. It's crazy. It's hard to believe we're riding a trail that's like thousand or more years old, isn't it? And we're out of the jungle. So over the course of our relationship, I have a long history of not remembering the hard parts of trails and taking Megan on <laughs> sections that are above her riding level. You did really good. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you for sticking around uh, with all the misadventures I take you on. <laughs> I mean, even though I didn't ride everything today, the bike allows me to get further in the back country and it takes me uh, to a lot further places than I would have gone otherwise. It's helping me get over some of my personal fears and things as being a mother and a, and a bike rider and all that fun stuff too. Yeah, at one point she's saying, I've already got anxiety about being <laughs> at altitude in the jungle that I don't know. <laughs> in another country, and then we add in the kids and a crazy yeah. trail that's uh, above her ability level, you know? Like, yeah. it's a hard trail. I learned a lot today. I know, I'll go back home and everything will be easy. Yeah, we're we three go. days in. It feels three like we've days. been on like yeah. a, a month long adventure already, yeah. so. <laughs> we a lot Mentally, more to come. You gonna hang I in think, there? <laughs> I think it's only gonna get easier from here. I, I've never seen anything like this. This has been amazing, so I cannot wait to see what else is in store for us in Ecuador. In our next video, we're heading to even higher altitudes on Cotopaxi Volcano to free ride down the mountain and stay in the coolest place we've ever been. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Going Thanks the whole to time. nerds for keeping me going all day long. <laughs> Best type of candy you can eat.